stop loss carriers are definitely not the same. Stop loss insurances should not be treated as a commodity. Price is important and should be considered, but the quality of the carrier and their policy is actually more important than the price. So as long as, long as you're getting a good price, you really want to drill down into the policy. Be sure that it's a policy that's going to mirror or virtually mirror your, your plan document so that there's no gaps in coverage. When there's a gap, there's a denial. Those, th those denied claims, you might as well consider that additional premium. So if you bought the cheaper policy that had more exclusions and you had a denial, you, you quite possibly ended up paying more than if you had just bought good quality stop loss from a good quality carrier. But what differentiates the good from the bad is financial stability, the ability to um, be efficient in paying claims, um, ease of doing business. For example, um, a premature baby, a premature child incurs tremendous amount of expense. Um, and that's something that, uh, as you know, is totally um, unexpected. But when the, these unexpected events occur, that's when your stop loss coverage kicks in and takes care of the expenses that exceed a certain threshold, which is predetermined as we're putting the plan together for the prospective group. It's very important to choose your benefit administrator wisely because as a self-funded employer, you're going to have the same claims regardless of who you choose. Those claims are going to happen whether you're with benefits administrator A, B, or C. In, in evaluating those, you need to nail down who is going to manage those claims the best to limit the liability of the employer while still giving good service and excellent benefits to the employees. That's what it comes down at the end of the day. Who's going to manage the claims?